got a complaint for the transmission stuck in gear. This is an Allison transmission hooked up to it, got code P0717. Now pretty much any code these things throw, they'll default to um, whatever gear they're in. So getting stuck in gear is kind of normal if you have any electrical fault on these things. So what I'll do is I just want to pull up the failure record just to see when or how this thing faulted. Just check the transmission temp. Fluid temps, we're at 138, which is still warming up. Your um, operating temperature is 180 on these. And I could verify that this is the code that we're chasing as well because our mileage matches up with the mileage on the work order. Um, you know, we're within, within like 10, 15 miles. And you can see down here, for our turbine speed sensor, we're only reading 21 RPM. So there's definitely a fault. So we know that, yet yeah, something with this sensor and circuit is wrong. And our voltage is 14 volts at the TCM. So this is a big one too, just make sure this is at battery voltage, if not greater. So we'll get on to diagnosing this code. I'm gonna pull the TCM connector off and test the resistance of the whole circuit and the sensor all in one go. So our TCM is actually located right above the drive shaft. Right on the other side of this plate which is a pretty crappy spot, but it is what it is. Those would be the studs that are holding the TCM to the plate. I think our best plan of attack here would be to remove that plate first. Because um, there's a couple bolts that one there and one on the other end and then we can just drop that down and get to the TCM a lot easier because it's kind of tight under here but also while you're under here just check the routing of this harness as you can see it's kind of right up there it's rubbing there um, it's just sometimes you can find the fault without doing anything let me just check this out real quick Turn the light on here on my phone. There we go. So you kind of see a little bit of something there, but it doesn't look like it's worn all the way through the loom. But I'm just gonna pull that apart, double check. This is a cable of some sort for the body builder, that's all frayed and whatever else, so we're not worried about that. Uh, just kind of see the routing. This is your output speed sensor right here, your turbine speed sensor. Oh, uh, we have a PTO on this thing. It is uh, above the PTO, so it's going to be fun to get to. Might have to remove the interior to get to, to tackle it from the top. And you got your input speed sensor somewhere around here. Uh, that's the bell housing. It's kind of really tight down here. I'm going to jack this thing up. But, um,. Yeah, I'm going to pull that plate and then pull the TCM connector apart and go from there. What I ended up doing was just disconnecting the TCM connector right from here. And uh, thankfully I was able to get it out without having to remove this plate. So, just check the TCM contacts. You can see they look good. There's no corrosion, there's no uh, water damage or anything. Also the connections on this end, and they're looking good. So we're gonna test the resistance of our turbine speed sensor at the TCM connector. And uh, I believe the they are 80 and 20 would be the pin numbers, but let me just double check. Okay, so they are 80 and 20. And as you can see on the connector, they are labeled one through 20, 40, 60, and 80. So I have actual test pins here, a terminal kit. You do not want to use back probing 
um, pins or anything because these are really easily spread and the last thing you want is to spread them it'll create all kinds of troubles for you down the road so always use something I could get you the part number for these uh, so you could get them yourself they're they really help in testing anything with connections like this so then 20 boom it's in there we're not spreading pins or anything and we got 80. now we're all hooked up we are resistance and we're getting 2400 ohms which looks correct there's a chart I'll attach to this video that way there you can see the the difference in temperature on how much it makes for the resistance on these speed sensors but uh, we're about 80 degrees here today and I believe the temperature should be around 20 or the resistance should be around like 23 to 2600 ohms so we're right in that spec But what I like to do is then wiggle the harness, especially in that spot that looks like it's rubbed through, uh, and, and watch the meter, see if it moves. Just watch when you uh, wiggle it that these don't come out, because you might then think that there's an open circuit or something, and there isn't. Oh, and that falls out. So I'm gonna rig this up a little better, kind of put it on the side so these things don't fall out, and then I'm gonna do a wiggle test on the harness and see if our resistance fluctuates. So I wiggled the whole harness. When I got to the speed sensor, I got more movement. You can see it right there. And uh, what I've done is I tapped on the speed sensor with an extension, and then my resistance moved like crazy. So that's not good. So we know 100% we have a bad turbine speed sensor. I'll show you here. I'll try to rig this thing up to see. So I'm just using a little extension here. I'm gonna try to angle the camera up there so you can see. So it's too tight, I can't get the camera up there and hit it at the same time. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tap the sensor. And look at that movement. Look at that, we're fluctuating 300 ohms. So you know, when this thing's just idling, it's good as it's going down the road. That sensor is bouncing around, shorting out, and all that stuff, creating all kinds of noise on for the uh, TCM. So it's converting that speed wrong. So that's a problem. We got a bad turbine speed sensor. And again, we're testing right at the TCM. That way, there it takes care of all the whole harness. So that's it.